け翼どんな相手も俺が完璧に封じてみせる必ず世界一になってみせる Hi guys, welcome to EK Tsubasa. This is TK, and I hope you guys are having a fantastic day as usual. So, today we are going to look at Arkai and Levin featured in a dream transfer. But before we start the video, I'd like to thank every single one of you. Thank you for watching and supporting the channel for the past three years. Alright, let's get going. EK Tomiya Arkai. Excellent red and blue combination is an agility type Japanese player featured during the World Youth arc. He can be played either as a defensive midfielder or defender. Akai provides two different types of bonds, plus 2.5% stats for his team and minus 3.5% stats for his opponents. Both bonds have the same criteria, needing five or more Japanese players on your team to activate. It also comes with a lip smacking minus 25% stats down for his matchup opponent and pressure minus 10% to stats for his opponent's next action after you win a matchup. Lastly, 50% recover to rejoin the action sooner. He comes with a useful 22% super solidarity for agility type Japanese players, not the top tier 23%, but good enough for now. His passive is the increasingly common support, with the Sunshine Boy Aoi having a 80% chance of joining him in a solo matchup. This is a superb passive for Akai to have, especially if you can pair him up with the recently released Rising Sun Aoi. Together, they are really an obnoxious pair, and there is little chance of you still having possession after that. And even if you choose to shoot, the 25% stats debuff from matching up with Arkai carries over to the shot when it reaches the goalkeeper, making it very likely to save for your goalkeeper. For some reasons, Arkai has an unconventional default skill set coming with two S rank tackles. His main skill, Signal Duo Defense, further strengthens his bond with Aoi as the two of them work together to perform a 490 momentum tackle that costs 440 stamina. Akai is mighty fast for defender's standards as he comes with almost 7k speed. Akai's defensive aspects are considered good but other than his tackle, the rest are actually being held back by his physical stats. This is not a problem for Akai due to his character design. We suggest going with Limit Break 1, maxing out his block and intercept to balance out his defensive powers if you intend to play him as central defender. Consider Limit Break 2 if you are playing him as a defensive midfielder as blocking is not as essential. Boundary breaking Akai twice to max out his defensive stats is not a bad idea so that he can be played in both given positions without having to adjust his limit break. We suggest replacing aggressive right angle defense with I can't lose in a one-on-one. -on -one. If you have access to it and load him up with the Desperate Shot Stopper, Body Tackle Interception and an additional interception to help against skill blockers, we do not recommend sacrificing non-dupes though. So now on to our opinions for Akai, he is back and he is even more equipped to win the ball by desperate means this time. With his new buddy Aoi backing him up, hence his name red and blue combination, Akai is red and Aoi is blue. God bless you if you end up in a matchup with the two of them. The wise move is to avoid Akai at all costs if you can and that effectively shuts down a channel for his opponent. Stefan Levin Resolution to destroy everything is a toughness type shooter that you can play as a forward or attacking midfielder for the Swedish national team during the World Youth Arc. Levin comes with similar bonds to Akai. Both bonds requires 4 or more toughness type players instead of Japanese players on your team to activate. 
He also comes with pressure, minus 10% stats for opponent's next action after he wins a matchup. Lastly, the main cost, Stamina Killer, a whopping 35% to opponent's stamina cost when matchup. A 10% improvement when compared with his previous Stamina Killer version. Like Arkai, Levin also comes with the similar type of team skill, providing 22% stats for his team with 5 or more toughness type non-Japanese players. Not as essential as the toughness type non-Japanese team skill had already reached 69% with the release of Remy Res. His passive is Goalkeeper Killer, a cool 35% stats up against goalkeepers. This means that his passive only applies to his shot which makes him playing rather straightforward. At the same time, this also means that he will be needing setting up for clear shooting chances without matching up with defenders. Even if he enters a matchup with defenders, it's going to cost them a chunk of their stamina with his stamina killer and we all know that this is bad news for full body stand defenders out there. He is equipped with a new s rank header, Levin Overhead Kick capped at 480 momentum that requires 405 stamina per use. This header comes with blow away special effect up to 2 players. Levin's total stat is above 67k, a fraction higher than Arkai. An impressive 11k dribble but his shot is not amazing, just over 8k. And he doesn't come with any area bonus so there's no bonus for his main skill. There is only one real limit break for Levin catering to his design and boundary breaking is not really recommended. As for his skill build, replace Levin Rush with Destructive Impulse from Thumb Attack if you are able to and get him the Levin Turn if you have access to it. Otherwise, Right Angle Fane from the Dream Ball Shop is usable as well. Finish up his build with new Levin Pass and Aurora Interception so that his opponents are forced to spend stamina in s rank skills when matching up with him. Levin seems to enjoy making opponents work harder than usual with Stamina Killer becoming sort of his thing. If given the chance to shoot a couple of times in a half, there will be a real chance that opponent's goalkeeper will not even last the full game. He is especially efficient at weakening full body stance goalkeepers and defenders before your big guns take over. However, in high level games, every attacking opportunity matters and each failed attempt to score means handing your opponent the chance to launch another attack. Special thanks to all our members on Patreon and YouTube, you guys are awesome, your support is very much appreciated and motivates us a lot. It's the main reason why we have been keeping the channel running, making videos for everyone, so once again, thank you. Alright guys, do check out ways to support us or at least take a look, links provided in the video description. Check out our videos listed here by YouTube, subscribe if you have not, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, it helps a lot. Thank you so much for watching, hope you guys have a nice one, I will see you guys next time. And may the Gacha God bless us all.